Microsoft did it. They 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 finally did it. We've been screaming for a feature inside of Microsoft Excel for years. And Microsoft did it. They finally did it. No more hitting refresh all every time your data changes. No more explaining to your coworkers, hey, you just need to right click and refresh the pivot table. Microsoft has finally introduced an automatic update to our pivot tables when our data changes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how this automatic feature works and how it's gonna save you frustrating moments as you work with larger data sets and summarizing your data with pivot tables. Let's jump in and take a look. So open in front of you, I've got an example file that I'm gonna to utilize to show off the new automatic update of Excel pivot tables. I've also made it available so that you can download it and follow along with me. You'll find a link to this file directly below the video, just down in the video description. Look for the officenoob.com blog link, and from there, you can download the file completely free. The file is called Excel Pivot Table Auto Update-01. So make sure you download it, open it up, follow along with me. Now, inside of this workbook, it's got a single worksheet called Sales Data. I got a nice little table there, year, month, type, salesperson, region, and so on. Probably something similar to what you work with, some type of list, whether that's sales, products, employee information, services, inventory, you name it, right? You got headers along the top. You got rows of records that make up that list. Now, I want to summarize this data. So I create a pivot table. First step, I'll click into the pivot table or click into the table. I'll go to my insert pivot table from table slash range. All right. So inside of our pivot table from table or range window, I can see that it did grab my table, TBL sales. That's the table in the background. For right now, I'm gonna create the new, new pivot table inside the existing worksheet, just put it right next door, just so we can see the updates happen in real time. So existing worksheet, and I'll grab an empty cell here off to the right. All right, sales data, I2, or J2. I'll hit okay. And we got the beginnings of our pivot table. Now I'm gonna remove my big old head here off the screen for a moment, just so we can see more of that pivot table field list. So here, Inside my field list, I want to see this data broken up by salesperson. So I'll grab that, drag it to rows. Then I want to see total sales for each salesperson. So I'll grab sales, drop that into values. All right, pretty easy, right? We got our groupings by salesperson and we can see their total sales. Now, I want to make an update to the original data, whether that's updating existing records, that's deleting records, that's adding new records, whatever it might be. So I hop on over, I'm gonna say hmm, right around row 14, I'll, I'll select row 14, making sure my pivot table isn't within that area. I'll right click, I'm gonna insert, and I get a new row so I can insert a new record. Check this out, right away, right away. As Soon as I added that new row, I got a blank row inside the pivot table. I didn't have to right click and refresh. I didn't have to go to the table design and refresh or data tab and refresh. It's automatic, done for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop back in, let's say 2025. It's October, October. Yeah, all right. Let's see, let's do an ice cream. Love ice cream, ice cream. All right, Pew, I'm a part of the East and 8,025 and that was for 3,250 units, and this was order number, oh, I don't know, I'm just gonna put a 1,000 in there. Boom, look at that. No additional resource, no additional refresh, done. Automatic update, so cool. Now, how does this happen? Well, if I click into my pivot table, it really doesn't matter where, just as long as I'm, I'm in that pivot table. I've got my pivot table analyze tab, I've also got my design tab, but on the analyze tab, we now have an auto refresh command. On automatically, boom, done. 
If you see that your pivot table does not update, hop over to that pivot table analyze tab and turn on that auto refresh button. So cool. I've been asking for it for years. Finally here. Now, there are some potential downsides to this. If you've got a large set of data, you've got a pretty intensive pivot table with calculations and so on, as you start making adjustments to the pivot table, it's refreshing, it's, it's doing its process. And if you're making lots of changes, it could be pretty resource intensive as it makes all of those refreshes. So you may wanna turn it off occasionally, but I love it, love it. And I don't have to take another step. I don't have to worry about it. Auto refresh, try it out. I love it, I love it. <laughs> Where's it been all my life? They automatically refresh our pivot tables. Done, you update the data in your original list, pivot table sees it and makes the update. Now remember, you can always turn it off if you're finding that you're getting lag in your system and things are taking a while to make updates. But once you're done, whoop, turn it back on, automatically updates for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new and something beneficial for you. If you have, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. That lets me know and the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoyed the video and you want more videos like this. And if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week on Microsoft Excel, new features and otherwise, and other Office applications. I'll see you in the next video.